some of you may have noticed that I've been quieter than the normal, should we say, recently. Well, that's due to a, a death in the family. And what that's done is give me some time to think. And at the end of my thinking, I've realised that I've been slacking. I've been letting up on these evil pieces of shit. Well, for my no longer here, somewhere much better. I'm going to do everything I can to expose you corrupt criminals. And you know the worst thing about it? We're doing it to ourselves. Who enforces it? The police, security. Police and security are the most brainwashed of the population. They do no thinking for themselves whatsoever. They follow orders from a psychopath because it seems that only psychopaths seem to rise to the positions of authority. So the police are, are so brainwashed in themselves, not all, some, some of them are being, becoming aware of what's going on and those that aren't are choosing deliberately not to. These are the most dangerous men and women on the planet. They all seem to have forgotten, not that it was ever real or anything like that, but the Nuremberg trials, where I was just, just doing my job, it was not a defense. And one of the reasons for that is, every single one of you, is capable of making your decisions. Just following orders will never work. Every single one of you makes your own choice. If you choose to do something that you know is wrong, just like all those constables at Tom's on the 2nd of July 2015 we're all breaking the law we have the evidence now and it's merely a matter of time the courts are crapping themselves I'm not going to say any more about why they are crapping Themselves. The police, many of them are starting to become aware that they were all acting criminally on that day. In fact, the video I recently put out, I'll put a link here, where you see uh, a constable when he's informed of this at Tom's uh, on the 7th of the 7th 2017 became very nervous and had to call some other constable over to uh, stand near me because you know I'm a 
activists apparently I call it a freedom fighter you call it what you like had to go and make an urgent phone call I think the word is getting around amongst Nottinghamshire police there's a lot of retribution coming I don't want you to be hurt I don't want you to be punished I want you to do your job as I perceive it as the public perceive it you've got far too much believe you believe you've got far too much power you have no power as is being exposed daily I'm not asking for anything out the ordinary I'm asking you to do your job the way we see it when the likes of reports and here's a report for you Ken Clark's a paedophile I want you to go and investigate it I don't want you chasing people down that are or assisting in a civil matter which has got no, all to do with you a civil matter you should have nothing to do with by acting in a civil matter you're instantly breaking your oaths or your attestations and you become criminal Leicestershire police are aware, becoming aware there's a, a video I've not put out yet from a few months back where um, the sheriff's office of course you do your research on that and you realize that those calling themselves high court enforcement or sheriff's office are actually nothing but a bunch of lying scum thieving dog shit and that dog shit is too good a word for them they are generally a corporation called that name whichever you want to choose but of course they rely on you being so stupid as to have not done your own research as to not check this stuff out instead of just accepting things on face value the reason we're in this shit is because you accept what you see without question I'll give you something for a start red lights anyone jump to red light accidentally on purpose won't paying attention however doesn't matter well if you have you got a ticket if it was a camera there didn't you and you paid that ticket without question didn't you because you thought oh damn look there's a photo there lights on red there's my vehicle past the, my automobile past the uh, the thing ah oh, I'm done I can't break the law have you ever checked to see if there's a law anywhere that says you can't jump a red light and I say law of course there are no laws it's all statutes and acts but have you checked it no you haven't have you because if you check it you'll find there's no statute or act anywhere in the UK that says you can't jump a red light you have to stop at a red light red lights are a part of the control well, traffic lights are a part of the control system this has been proven over in Germany and down in Bristol what they did and the, the I think she was a councillor whatever that means uh, admitted it used to take her 20 minutes to get from here to here in a part of Bristol uh, when they suggested turning off the lights she thought ridiculous and she admits it they turned all the lights off and what that did 
get this, that meant you had to think and use your own judgment. Why wouldn't they want us to think and use our own judgment? Hmm. Who could, who could imagine any reason for that? Not wanting us to think logically and use our own judgment. Wow. Yeah, no problem there then. So, I digress as I often do. They turned the lights off and it took them five minutes instead of 20. Because we were thinking for ourselves. Oh, well, I'm going here, yeah, no problem. Oh, oh, well, actually, I can probably just give way to this couple and the way through. And away we go again. How many time have you, times have you been at traffic lights? Totally clear. Both ways. You could go easy. But they don't want you to think for yourself. Hell, you might decide that you've thought for a while and realised that maybe things aren't as they seem. Maybe everything isn't as I thought it was. Hey, did I get a bit wrong? I've been there, I've been one of you. Although I've always been aware there's much more going on than I realised. So, in Nottingham in particular, I've noticed there's a hell of a lot more traffic lights appearing needlessly. All ramping up the control. You see red, you stop. Green, go. It's all part of the control. And all I ask is you think for yourself. Do your research yourself. And I know it sounds boring. Believe you me. Once you start, you will find a whole different world to the one you believe you live in right now. There's so much that, well, so much. I generally work by the rule now of whatever you are told, spin it round 180 degrees and it's exactly that. It's the opposite to what you are being told. We've got to go to war in Iraq because they have weapons of mass destruction. Oh, you mean like our nuclear weapons? Ooh. Hmm. Oh, well, we better go and do something. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> that was a proven absolute lie told to you all. Proven. And Tony Blair, the mass murderer, is still walking around free. Well, you're letting it happen. You are letting it happen. But, but, like I say, start doing your research. Even if it's to prove anything I say wrong, I don't give two hoots. Just do a little bit of research. Go and do a search now before the info's taken down. One of the things we have noticed recently is a lot of the old statutes and acts that are up online are being removed because we are using them against them and it's easy to find now if you do your research if you do it screenshot it capture it whatever you do get it off off the internet while you can because they're taking all the evidence away they designed the internet as a part of the control mechanism they couldn't have initiated the global banking cashless society without it. And it's been implemented all over the place by every single council in the UK and probably worldwide. Check it out. Soon you won't be able to use cash on buses anymore. You can't in London already. Why do they want cashless? Well, it's quite simple. It's control. At the moment, if you have any of them bits of plastic that are your debt enslavement cards, 
and you go into a shop and you buy something and you want to use your card and you get bit and it goes oh no it doesn't work well you can't have it ah wait a minute oh that's okay <laughs> I've got some cash you know that cash so I'll pay by cash what happens when they bring in the cashless society their society of course well what happens you go to buy something you're shopping food not that there's that much out there that's actually edible you would buy that you go to the counter you pay with your obligatory piece of plastic you go beep oh it's rejected That's okay. I'll, I'll, I've got another one. Beep. Oh, it's. Re oh, I've got another one. Beep. Oh, it's rejected. You can't eat. This is no joke. The new world order is enclosing around you. Its claws and grip is getting tighter and tighter. And for all those that have been sitting on the fence thinking, I'll leave it to everyone else. That time is all but up. You're still sitting on the fence. You're enslaving yourself and the rest of humanity. The control system, the traffic lights, it's all part of it. It's part that it's their way of trying to brainwash you into believing you need a corrupt, criminal, terrorist government to control you. We can control ourselves. Nearly every Thing that happens with anger with a fight with a road rage with with whatever although there'll be various reasoning behind it some of them quite natural like grief the majority of them including grief are what we've been brainwashed into perceiving as what we should be doing I miss um, it's only been just over a week. I miss her so much. I know she's far better. It's just me being selfish. Criminals. The game is up, but we've all got to start doing stuff. And I know it's scary. We've been brainwashed into fearing everything.
about the parasites that have been controlling us. It's becoming more and more obvious. You want more evidence? You drive a car. Pay your road tax. Oh wait, it's not called road tax anymore is it? It's called car tax now. Look at the state of the roads. They couldn't possibly call it road tax. So it's called car tax. So road tax meant, of course, you were alleged to believe, you were supposed to believe and perceive. <coughs> road tax means you can travel on the roads. <coughs> oh wait. <coughs> If we keep calling it road tax, we can't then charge them for parking on the road. We can't then charge them for parking outside their own house. <clears throat> I know what we'll do. We'll call it car tax. They're too dumb to figure out the scam. They're too dumb to realize real eyes what we're doing and then of course we've got the parking levy whereas if you drive to work you're going to have to park, pay to park even if it's on your own employer's private land Sounds like there's something wrong there because there's no way a criminal cartel known as Nottingham City Council, or as I always call them, Nottingham Criminal Cartel, could charge a private firm on their private property <coughs> for you to park on your firm's private property couldn't be done. It's everything you believe. B E L I E V E is wrong. And it is wrong. Everything. Everything is wrong. You go to hospital now, and apparently, we can't afford to run the NHS. <coughs> Bollocks. We could run the NHS ten times over if there wasn't so much fraud criminal activity going off in the NHS. <clears throat> I'll give you an example. When I was over in Egypt with uh, my dear friend King Abdullah Key, he, he, he has, uses asthma inhalers. And we went into the uh, chemist that's an Egyptian word as well, by the way, as is pharmacy. And he bought one over the counter. And it was 10 Egyptian pounds. If you don't know the exchange rate, back then it was. Not too sure exactly what it is now, because it was about two or three, two or three years ago. Three or three or four years ago, it could be now, actually. Um, 10 Egyptian pounds was equivalent to one English pound. Now, again, doing my research, this was probably 10 years ago now, I found out that the, the NHS, the power money magnet that they are, with their endless cash supply, because they need it, were pay paying GlaxoSmithKline £28 per inhaler. 
English pounds. I smell corruption and fraud. And that was 10 years ago. God knows what it is now. It's probably up to 50 quid now. More corruption and fraud. Don't take my word. Please don't take my word. Don't believe me. Be lame. I like you. Don't believe me. Do your research and prove me wrong. This was supposed to be a short video, I don't know, minute video at the beginning. But as, um, I guess I'm getting more pissed off actually. Because the info's out there. It's out there in your face. And it has to be in your face. It's part of their rules. The rules of their secret societies that you don't know about. They have to put it in your face. And if you choose not to see it, hey, you were told. I told you. you don't do your research. It's up to you. Again, you on evidence. 9-11, the pre-notifications of that were all over the place. Evening, my, my, probably one of my most favourite films, The Matrix. In The Matrix, as we all know, Neo, the one, because of course, there can be only one Highlander. Um, his uh, passport, not passport, driving licence, his date, date, date of renewal or birth or whatever it was was 9-11-2001 um, okay um, in Terminator 2 of course this, you could just say oh it's just a coincidence but hey remember what I said they put it out there. If you choose not to see it, they've done their bit, they've told you, and they put it out there all over the place with 9-11. Uh, Terminator 2, I think it was, where he's chasing the, ter the original Terminator, I think it is, with the other Terminator, and he's in a lorry, and Terminator Schwarzenegger uh, is on the bike with a kid on the back, and they go under a bridge, and it, the bridge to go under it says, WARNING. 9-11. Now of course, those that are asleep will see 9 foot 11. But, it's 9-11. The Simpsons. Episode of The Simpsons, where they're going to New York and Lisa holds up a pamphlet and it's in big letters 9-11. It's got a 9, it's 9 dollars and the Twin Tower, with even more in your face. The Twin Towers are behind them, so it reads 9-11 with the Twin Towers in the picture, telling you what they're going to do. 